What's going on a little easier? Bringing the tutorial HM2090 dimensioning. Today we'll learn how to deal with the dimensioning tool that you can use to quickly change the shape of your model without needing to remake the mesh. So let's get to it. The model we'll use is in the two holes file. Put it on shaded view and we can see that it is a bracket with two holes. So first we'll create a dimension for the thickness. In the model tree, right click and create a feature. A window pops up and asks us for some information. So change the name to thickness. For point one, select this point. Remember to make sure you have the display fixed points active. And for, fix, for point two, select the point right below point one. In parameterization, leave it as create parameter, then click create and close. Now we have a dimension called thickness with a current value of 0 0.375. Let's create dimensions for the hole's diameter too. So call this one D1. and call this D2. There are two ways to edit the value of a dimension. We can click on it by the graphics area and type the new value, or we can go to the model tree, look for it in the parameters folder, and type in the double value field. So let's change the thickness to 0.5, and the diameter is to 0 0.52. Now if you look closely, you see that the dimension is being modified by the midplane, but we can specify the direction of change if we want. So go to the GM page, Notes panel, Extract Online sub-panel. Select the line between the points we picked for the thickness, and in Number of Notes, enter 2, then click Create. Let's check that the dimension is being modified by the midplane. So type a new value of 1 for thickness and we see that that is true. Press Ctrl Z to undo and we can change the direction of extension simply by clicking on the small handle of this orange line and we see that the arrow changes to a line. So now the dimension will be extended upwards and the bottom will remain fixed. Type 1 again and check that. We could have achieved the same result by going to the model tree under the features folder, change the lock side to either 0 0.1, 0 0.2 or none. And we can also add relations between dimensions. So to make the diameter of hole 2 be the double of hole 1, go to the parameter folder and click on D2. Set the parameter type to double expression and type 2 times D1 for the expression value. Now if we update a value for D1, D2 is linked and automatically updates to. If we want to unparameterize the dimension, go to the feature folder, click the dimensions name, right click on the value field and select unparameterize. We could also delete the dimension altogether, just right click and select delete. And yes. Finally, let's check the mesh update capability. We'll create a surface mesh by the 2D Auto Mesh panel. So select the displayed surfaces, type 0.1 for element size, toggle the mode to automatic, and click mesh. Then return. We have to first enable the automatic remeshing. So go to Preferences tab, Meshing Options. And for topology revision, select the advanced remesh option. And we can now change the dimensions at will and see that the mesh is automatically updated. So that was it for today, guys. Dimensioning is a powerful tool to make quick small changes. I hope you have liked this video. 
Remember to give it a thumbs up if you did. And we'll start with meshing specific tutorials now. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one.